What's up everybody? I am out at the golf course again. I know you guys haven't seen a video for a while. Like I said before, it's crazy. Uh, I really don't have an excuse. Uh, life's just getting a hold of me. When I have an amazing, awesome new daughter that uh, I do, I just... She takes a lot of my time, not because that's an excuse, because I want her to take, like, I have so much fun just hanging out with her and stuff, and it's hard to leave her at home. I don't know if you got first time dads at home understand, but it's, she's amazing, and it's awesome. I can't wait until she's old enough to get out here and enjoy this with me, but right now, no more excuses. Let's just get out and fish, see if we can catch something. Um, I brought my lucky tackle box. I know I didn't do an unboxing this month. Like I said, it's just been crazy hectic. But I did tie on the frog I got out of my box this month. We're going to see if we can catch something and then wait, switch baits. I'll let you know what I'm using throughout. And let's get to fishing. I don't have my tripod today. So this is the selfie you're going to be getting. And the chest mount. So we'll see you soon. Alright guys, fishing is super windy. So I'm sorry for the wind noise if there is any. But I might teach you a little bit of lesson today. We're fishing from the bank, and when approaching the bank, you're gonna wanna fish like down the bank a little bit or further distance away. If you're about to hit this spot, try to fish this before you get right on top of it. And just so you don't scare any potential fish away when you get up here against the bank. They, they know you're coming, trust me. Now I haven't modified this frog at all in any way. Um, it comes with short legs already, which is really awesome. I do have some tips in other videos uh, to get your frog to walk a little better and this and that. So uh, check those videos out and see if we can catch one. Stay tuned, guys. A lot of times when it's super hot like it is, water temps are super high. They get a lack of oxygen it's, uh, at the top of the water, so they'll go deep. And a lot of times you have to fish deep. So... I don't know how frogs gonna do right now until the evening bite. So I might have to switch up here soon and then just uh, do some deep diving and see what we can catch. But we might get one here on top water. They get active too when the wind's blowing like this. So we'll see what we can get. It's not really doing walk the dog very well. Um, so one modification, people say they cut the legs, but to tell you the truth, it's just rubber that goes through and around so all you really need to do is pull the legs through there we go so they're a little uneven now this is just a quick little after work session so i'm not going to have long out here to fish but uh what i'm fishing with i'm fishing with the good old cast king spartacus maximus my saltwater bait caster that i love a royale legend 7.3 and uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. I'm not even doing braid or anything. Top water, straight fluorocarbon, one rod, one reel, and changing lures and seeing how we can go. This is my saltwater setup, but I felt like bass fishing with it today, so see how well we do. Oh boy, frog heaven right here. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, frog heaven. Yeah. All right, so that uh, frog's not working out so well. So we're gonna um, switch baits. Let's see what we got in our lucky tackle box. I know I didn't do an unboxing, so I'll let you guys look at it when I open it. Whoop All right, well, we got a lipless, it looks like. Uh, I might try this. This will do really, really well, especially in July when the bluegill are getting on beds and stuff. This is some stuff from last month's box. Um, top water wasn't doing so well, so I might skip this one. And uh, this one we could probably throw something on as a swim bait, I think. Or a worm. Let's see what salt plastics. Bite the bait. Battle bug. And another top water. Um, top water is usually on this time of year, like early in the evening, 
early in the morning or evening. But we're gonna um, we're gonna switch to this. We're gonna try this out for a little bit. See what happens. See how it casts and everything. It's a little light. I like to just uh, give it a small cast to see how it does. It looks pretty good. Not too bad. Well, I don't know. That's a short cast. Kind of reminds me of one of those light Rapalas. <laughs> that's, that's a short cast and I had a fish on right there. <laughs> oh goodness, that's funny. Alright, well that might be a good sign. I have to adjust my reel, try to get a further cast. Well, it's falling pretty good, so it might just be a uh, too thick of fishing line, too high a weight of fishing line. Probably need like six pound on this little lure. I have to switch to soft plastic. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. Let's try that again. All right, I switched to uh, the lipless, the Livingston lure lipless. You can find Livingston lures in your Lucky Tackle Box from time to time. But this is going to be a good one. I like this one because it's got that silver. It's going to have that reflection shine because we got some wind and chop. A little bit heavier, easier to cast. And it'll catch big fish. Let's see if we can catch one now. Alright, it is hot. It's super, super hot. But uh, one good tip when you're fishing and it's super sunny, super clear, you got white clouds in the sky, um, but not very cloudy, and it's super hot. A good tip is to stay near the shade lines. I mean, I'm in the, I just went to the shade line and it feels amazing. Bass probably think it feels amazing also. So stay in the shade line, stay in the shade. You're gonna get your hookup ratio is gonna go up a lot more. And if you want to do top water, do like a white, mainly a white bottom bait because uh, you want to silhouette that that sky and you got the white clouds and the reaction strike will be on, I'm telling you. But I hope that helps you guys out. Let's get on with this lipless crank and let's see if uh, we can get on one. Oh yeah, I got me a giant. Dude, he is super warm. Super warm. Got me a giant. Heck yeah. Wanna see like a quarter pounder with cheese? Please see ya. Well, I guess uh, I didn't get skunked. <laughs> See if we can catch a bigger one now. Another little one just lost him. He just popped up. He was tiny though. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. It's been a while. I wanted to just get in touch with you guys, but uh, moral of today, I guess, is uh, it's hot. It's very hot in Florida right now and very humid because I'm sweating like crazy. But family's doing good. I appreciate all the people shouting out that miss me and wondering where I've been and uh, appreciate phantom fishing for calling me and trying to put some fire into my butt to get some videos done and some fishing done for you guys but 
it's been a lot of family time lately and if you guys did like this video be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe until next time guys remember get out and fish one other thing guys there's uh i don't like to use solid rods because i take my stuff to work leave it in my truck i don't have a lot of room in my truck for a full seven foot seven three foot rod so i always get these two piece rods i mean i catch fish on them they're amazing that's what i was using today but the two piece rods are amazing and cast king is coming out real soon on amazon they might be available now so check them out uh, black hawk 2 telescoping rods like have them in bait casting so get over there and check it out review coming soon from me on those and uh just a little teaser at the end of the video see you next time